Hi, everybody. Welcome to Beauty Inside and Out Radio. I'm bringing the show to you from across the pond in the UK, and I have two very, very handsome gentlemen. So if you're watching us on Facebook right now, you'll be able to see that. But if you're on audio, I just want you to imagine it's two very handsome gentlemen that have created a very unique um, company that um, I, I like. I like. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to show some before and afters once this show launches with the product that they provided me when I met them in Las Vegas at Cosmoprof North America. So first I want to introduce them. They're from my, and my, is it my, my color line, my hair care, or is it just my? So hi, Bonnie. Um, I'm Dennis. Um, great to be here with you today. So um, we've got the my hair care. My um, hair care. Perfect. Good. Yeah. So it's all that about keeps it pretty simple. Yeah. That keeps it really simple. Well, I know you guys met in some great way and then created something really fantastic. You're both hairdressers. You've both been in the industry for a long time. So I'm really excited to be able to hear the story. So Rob, Rob Forgione is one of the partners. And then of course we have Dennis. Hold on. I'm going to say your name. Cavalier. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. All right. Close enough. Um, Rob, will you be able to share with us a little bit about yourself and how you started out in beauty? I'm always interested in people's story on how they got involved in beauty. Sure, Bonnie. Um, well, my family have a hairdressing background. So as a young child, I was fascinated by this hairdressing thing and in industry. Uh, at the age of nine, my mother had a salon with my auntie and uh, it was the 70s and it was a very interesting time in hairdressing. It was big, mm -hmm. it was huge. Chemicals were forceful, lots of perms and lots of crazy stuff going on. And during that very early age, I said to my mother one day, um, I actually want to be a hairdresser. I think I was 10. She was like, oh, no way. You're going to university. That's not for you. <laughs> so, so as time passed, I had an education through school and uh, still had the passion for hair. So I completed my uh, university entrance in Australia and then I decided when I was 19, this is the time to do it. So I sat them down. And I was like, hey, guys, it's time. And they're like, time for what? And I'm like, time for hair. So I got into hairdressing at 19. I was still very young and had a great mentor and uh, hairdressing teacher in Australia. I worked for some great salons. Um, by the age of 21, I had my first salon. Um, and it was a coastal salon in a beach area in Western Australia. Uh, very lovely and you could see the ocean from the salon and, and obviously uh, a great sort of clientele and I grew uh, my hairdressing career in that salon and then it got bigger and we moved to a bigger salon again and it grew quite quickly so within a 15 year period in Western Australia I had three salons and during that time I, I was introduced to the educational side of hairdressing where I uh, learned to do some platform work and worked for a big few big hair care companies and um, led me to a more educational sales oriented career. And then around, oh, I suppose 15 years into the piece, I decided it was time to move from West Australia to Sydney, which is a large populated, mm -hmm. more continental international city. So I moved to Sydney and that's when I jumped from hairdressing to education and sales in the hair care sector. And um, during that period of time, I worked for a boutique startup brand uh, and they were importing international products. And the people that owned it were an amazing couple with years of experience in the industry. And I learned so much from them in a short period of time. During that period of time, I decided that I wanted to work for corporate. So my whole intentions were throughout this period was to learn as much as I can because I really did want to own my own brand. And... At that time, 15 years ago, I would never thought I'd ever make it where we are today, but I was paving the way. So I moved on to corporate and worked for a really large multinational, and that was amazing. And then after that, another large multinational. And then after that, I decided to go back to a boutique sort of startup style, and I found a really cool Australian brand that was about to flourish, and I worked with them. And that's... Uh, where my international travel started. So initially I was in Sydney working for this brand in education and sales. And then there was an opportunity for international travel with the brand. And I was like, wow, do I really want to do this? Is it the right thing for me? And I was having all these emotional 
ups and downs. So I just grabbed it and we did it. And I worked in 15 different countries in three years. And during that period of time, wow. I really learned so much. I met so many cool people in the industry. I met formulators, I met chemists, I met distributors, I met hairdressers. It was like, wow. And that's where I met Dennis. <laughs> so traveling along the path of the uh, career, I, I bumped into Dennis in London. And that's how the journey started for us. Perfect. Well, that is really pretty incredible to be that mobile um, across the globe. But you know what? That's the opportunity that I think hairdressing brings to people that they don't realize is how powerful being a hairdresser can be to, and then, you know, shifting into a corporate career. Exactly. I, like when I was in my own salons back in Western Australia on the beach, I would, you would never think of the things and experiences that I've experienced. It, it is really a fascinating career and industry to be in because there's so much available to you. If you apply yourself and take opportunities when they're available to you, it's amazing what you can do. Oh, That's absolutely. Good. So that is how you met Dennis. You met Dennis in the UK. Yeah, in and, London. Yeah. And, uh, and then it, you guys forged this relationship. Dennis, tell us a little bit about yourself, because you're one of the creators of My Hair Care as well. Yes, I am. And um, I kind of, I have spent my entire life in the salon industry because from really, really early age, my mom used to work in the salon as a nail technician. So... Um, all those long days and evenings I was just spending in the salon, watching her working, watching the other hairdressers. And I think that from, the, from that point, I was growing up and I was absorb, absorbing the, the atmosphere and kind of started to really like it. And um, when it got to the point of leaving school and um, deciding on the career, I never wanted to be... Um, to go to university or, or do a degree. I kind of wanted to be really hands-on and make people beautiful, just how I saw all these years in the salon when I was spending time. So um, I've got an apprenticeship with one of my friends. He coached me and he um, partly responsible for, for the amazing hairdresser I am now. Um, and that's how my journey started, really. Um, I've got the placement in the hair academy <clears throat> really really prestigious one back in russia which um towards the sassoon methodology mm -hmm. of the coloring and that's how i've fallen in love with the color and the rest of my, my career today was revolving around the color so um around about 2002 i had an opportunity to move to the uk and join the educational team with the multinational brand um, and be part of the creative team so um, that's that's kind of took my career to another level because I was um, my, 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 my life was engaged with the top hairdressers educators platform artists and I kind of always wanted to I've seen all these experiences and the products and the education I've got and information but I always knew that I wanted to create something which will be really, really easy to use and kind of fulfill the need of the regular customer who comes to the salon and have a need for a beautiful hair color um, every day, really. Mm, I love that. I love that both of you guys were brought up in the industry, that you had family that was in beauty prior to you being introduced. Yeah. I've always been fascinated, especially by the products. I used to hide out in the back room of my mum's salon and just mix everything in a bowl. And she'd be like, what are you doing? You're going to blow the salon up. But yeah, very, and it's just very curious and um, in the chemistry side. And, and I mean, people too. I love people. I don't think I could ever work in an industry where I had no contact with people. It would drive me mad. So yeah, it's, it's an amazing dynamic industry with working with hairdressers. And guests as well. It's amazing uh, who you meet and what you do. Oh, it's so amazing. Yeah. And um, not only ha having that family background um, of how you guys got involved in it, but I mean, we're still, I, I still am like a kid in a candy store when it comes to new products and new ideas and new concepts and new techniques. You know, although I don't practice behind the chair anymore, um, I still am fascinated by like, oh, how did they do that? I want to learn how to do that. Um, so it is, it is a really fascinating industry. Yeah, it is.
Um, I think it is really incredible because um, the, the power of how we can make people feel instantly about themselves mm -hmm. um, in the matter of just the hair product is incredible because um, ultimately you can make somebody's day uh, uh, from the moment they wake up they just use the product um, on their hair and it will make their life easier make them feel better uh, make them look better and the whole the kind of whole universe around that person changes just because of of the product or or like amazing haircuts or amazing color or just a blow dry um yes yeah, so it's definitely um amazing yeah do you guys still practice behind the chair and have a clientele um well yeah, we, do. We, we do um it's not necessarily a clientele it's it's friends <laughs> <laughs> they're um, they're uh they're research and development right yeah, yeah <laughs> and it's great you have a great following of uh, Dennis still has quite a few of his clients that he does and friends so we kind of see them a couple of days a I, week I think we don't we don't we don't classify them as the customers uh we still do hair on the weekends because we I think the ultimate we want to um, keep in touch with the industry and the requirements and we have that um, amazing if you like guest based who's been with us for many years and they're trusted trusted testers yes, very <laughs> color oriented based and very current in their looks in their uh, usage of hair color the styles they wear so for us it's a, a great testing ground it's an amazing experience to be able to communicate not on, on a hairdressing level but also a personal level to just have feedback and see how they're enjoying the brand the products and things like that yeah did you guys both specialize in color when you did do hair full-time or did I, you do it all haircutting color i did it all and i made sure i did it all but i did really love color and always have um dennis yeah um i have been originally trained at the color technician so my my foundation is the color but i do love the hairstyling as well um, I think it works together in the synergy really well. Um, definitely, yeah. yeah. Everything, yes. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I think color is fascinating. Um, and everything that's going on in the industry right now with color is even more fascinating. I mean, there's, no, there's nothing you can't do. And there's no color that is, you know, taboo anymore. I mean, yeah, back that in the days, boundaries. Anyone? Neon, yeah, white, really, honestly, oh, anything is. goes. But I think that I think that there's a big misconception about anything goes, you know, when it comes to educating the industry, the stylists themselves, but more importantly, educating the consumer on, you know, these choices that they're making to be able to have that look or that specialty color and everything. There's a lot involved in it. Yeah, you're so you're so right. There's an amazing London salon here who really invests in social media about educating how to achieve that charcoal blonde from a natural brown, you know, showing them the steps and making them really understand the time, the pricing, the procedures involved going from one level of the color chart to the other. So yeah, I'm seeing today in the industry that salons and hairdressers are really trying to educate um, their guests yeah. on what's involved. Yeah. Oh, we, we have to nowadays because there's, so much more new technology that we can achieve the type of results that we want, but it's not without, you know, time and patience and money on the other end of yeah. it. And, and I, and I think for the consumers, a lot of times, you know, they don't understand the depth of transformation because in some cases, color is a transformation, mm. right? Oh, Would you guys agree? Yeah. yeah. Color can somebody transforms themselves uh, quite severely that you need to really step in as a hairdresser and say, Hey, look, you know, you've gone from one spectrum to the other. You're going to really need to maybe look at your makeup, your lipstick. Everything. You know, pop, pop, yeah, and just get it all sorted so it all matches. And yeah, all everything. I, and I think that we're there, there, this illusion, you know, and I swear, I always say I'm never going to bring up the Kardashians on my radio show, and I swear I bring them up every week. But, you know, it's it. like one minute Kylie has this color hair and Kim has that color hair and, you know, Courtney has one color hair. And I think that in the eyes of the consumer, they think that it can happen so quickly, 
Yeah. Because they're not realizing that, you know, Kim colored her hair four months ago and then they went into production for the show. And then now this is what you're seeing, but now she has brown hair again or blonde or whatever that is. And I think that they think it's a lot easier um, than it is to make these big color transformations. So color is a, it's a fascinating uh, skill set to have if you specialize in that in the industry as a hairdresser. Yeah. Um, and I think clients are, I think clients are far more educated today in regards to what looks good on them, um, how long, you know, they have to wait in between services and everything. Yeah, it's definitely, I think that the education is the key, but I think um, the, the social media and the availability of, of what customers see um, in the static image on the social media sets really unrealistic expectations. Um, and us as the hairdressers, we are, it's our job to please people. So sometimes um, it may be not realistic, but you almost wanted to achieve so much. Um, so there is somewhere down the line, a lot of the education has to be done um, not just to the end consumer, but to the hairdressers as well. Oh, absolutely. It sure does. But you guys kind of decided that there was going to be a little niche that you were going to go into with your hair care line, my hair care. And yeah, kind of yeah. And for the whole time I'm on the floor doing color, color fade, color fade, color fade. For 25 years, that's all I would hear and see if like, I've done such a great color today. She's going to go home, living in Australia on the beach. You can imagine how long it would last and what they right. do. They're, they're in the water, they're in the sun, they're in the pool, they're at the gym. So these gorgeous multi-tonal uh, colours you would give customers and, and, and clients and guests would turn out amazing within two or three weeks, fade, and they're gone. So the aim of the game was, you know, could we invent something that's going to jump right in there and bridge that gap and fill that niche to and make it instant and make it easy for somebody to just refresh their color on the go. Perfect. Well, stop right there because we're going to take a break. And when we come back, I want to be able to find out of this, you know, I, I'm so interested in this mindset where you guys were like, hey, why don't we? What if we? And that's going to be this creation of your hair care line that you created, my hair care. Yeah, cool. uh, and so I want to be able to talk about what it is how you guys decided this was the thing to do, who it needs to, you know, who's the real ideal client for this. Um, and then of course, I'm sure that the conversation and my questions are gonna be all jumped in there. So stand by. Everybody, we're gonna take a break right now. And if you want to be a guest on this show, you can always go to beautyinsideandoutshow.com and that will lead you to information of how you can be a guest as well. You got a product line like these gentlemen do, and you want to be able to launch it uh, globally. Beauty Inside and Out Show is in over 28 countries with 50,000 listeners a month. So this is a great platform for you to be able to launch your beauty product as well. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Three. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Beauty Inside and Out. My guests today are Rob Forgione, and I'm going to try Dennis with your last name again. Kovaleo. I know I, 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 I usually have a pretty good Russian accent. Yeah. Uh, so Rob is originally from Australia and, you know, has been in the industry. His family was in the industry, his mom. He's got loads and loads of information uh, to be able to share us about his, his experience and his expertise in the industry as a salon owner then went into the product development side, ended up moving to the UK, meeting Dennis. Uh, Dennis is originally from Russia and ended up doing the same thing, becoming a very, very crafted uh, and skilled hairdresser. And these two gentlemen met and they created a line called My Hair Care. And it's, it's really, it's very unique the way you guys have it because it's just M-Y dot. And then there's other pieces and parts to that brand. Um, so I'm ready to hear all about it and how you guys created it who's it for and what makes it special who wants to go i'll go you go, go on <laughs> so um do you well during the mechanics of working in the salons what we heard number of times over and over again that the guest would sit in the chair and would talk about 
my hair, my curls, my color, my haircut. So it's all about your hair. So we decided that we're just going to keep the name of the brand really, really simple as my hair care. So, um, and basically, as, as we discussed in the section one, um, we are really passionate about the color, but we are also really aware of the um, suspicious ingredients in the modern day formulations and what those ingredients do to the environment, to the, to the skin. Um, so Rob and I got on the mission to create something really unique in the offering, which will eliminate fade of the hair color, but it will also bring the natural and the free form aspect um, to the product. And I think we, we really succeeded well. <laughs> we did. We, we wanted to make sure we brought something that would be very effective in formulation and as clean as possible for a color enhancing shampoo. And so, clean uh, meaning like as many good ingredients as possible because yeah, we've tried to create it to be it's 100% vegan and it's PETA certified. So we've, de we've got that down. Um, and then with the other ingredients, we've kept sulfates out, no parabens and no silicones. So we've kept it to be as free from as possible, but effective in formulation, effective in the way it works on the hair. Mm -hmm. And also, yeah, the results that it gives. So, so I, think what, I think what we really wanted to, to achieve with the product, we just didn't want to bring another color maintenance system. We wanted to stand for something really special. So we wanted to create the truly unique um, vegan product, which will deliver the professional results with an incredible coverage, with the fantastic feel to the hair, minus the ingredients which could affect or, or um, challenge the condition of the hair, the condition of the scalp, or the planet ultimately. So um, we wanted to create the product which would be certified by the PETA. So we have we have truly tra transparable and the tra traceable uh, ingredient list and uh, we don't use any suspicious ingredients in the product. Mm. And I think, I think you have tried it and you know for yourself that it's, uh, it's really, really beautiful. So having it be a clean product line was, was important for you guys. You were, you were not just going to develop something for the end results to be able to support color. Um, and then this is, this is, I want to clarify too, for our listeners, this is a product line that they can buy and take home and use. That's not right. a color <laughs> system that you have done in the salon professionally. Yeah, so what you would do, you'd have your color done in the salon and then you'd make a decision on which infused my color shampoo would be right for your tone. So the shampoo, you, you wash with the shampoo like you do normally and it adds tone and pigment to your hair. So simply as you wash, you're refreshing your color, you're stopping the fade cycle, maintaining the shine and maintaining the condition in the simple shampoo procedure. Mm -hmm. The way the tones have been formulated is we really wanted to make sure that on every hair color type they're used on, they produce an aesthetically pleasing result. So in the calibration format, we want to make sure they're not too warm, not too cool, and visually appealing for everyone that uses them. And that's, I think, what really gives our brand the difference in this category to others. Yeah. So, How many different colors is there that a client can take home to enhance their color? We have uh, five off the shelf, straight up colors that can purchase which are really no-brainers, really easy to select. So they have, we have the Platinum Shampoo, which is designed for any blonde hair color, which to keep it nice and luminous. We have Ruby, which is um, the red-based shampoo designed to enhance the any red tones on the brunette level. Or if you feel playful, you can achieve those beautiful candy pink um, results in the blonde hair. We've got copper, which is designed to maintain the auburn shades, um, or on the on the 
brunette level or on the blonde you can have a beautiful peachy um strawberry blonde result and we've got cobalt which is the pure ash which is designed to keep the brass free brunette so um and we got the gold which is designed to kind of the maintain the luminosity of the blonde hair and you can mm -hmm. use it on any hair color to to add that beautiful sun-kissed shine yeah right perfect good so these so these five colors you're you know a client's coming in having highlights done say blonde like me you're going to refer the platinum to them and or maybe the gold to be able to kind of keep it that summer bright yeah it just depends whether they want to be a cool blonde or a warm blonde so yeah. the decision is made do i want to be warm then i go for the gold or do you want icy luminous cool tones i'll take the platinum yeah and feeling really super adventurous you can bounce between both if you're that sort of you know may you might go out to the sun and become really washed out and your hair looks really sun bleached and overdone then the gold's a great product to refresh and put pigment back into the hair and bring it back to life mm -hmm. so then, things depends on what you've done with your hair and and what sort of color fade you have and is it is it designed to be able to use um you know every day over over after you have that color treatment yeah. done in the salon okay. or a couple times a week day if you like um, it's just visual so you just watch the pigmenting um as you shampoo so you may think okay i'll use it every day i like what it's doing it's getting richer it's getting stronger or i might just taper off and alternate with my normal shampoo and let it wash away over three to five washes and use it again it just depends on what you want to see mm -hmm. that's the way you use it yeah and so on on lighter colored hair this has enough pigment in it to tone even change the hair yeah on blondes on light blondes bleach blondes you're going to achieve pastel effects with the copper the ruby and the cobalt so they're all going to give different effects the ruby will give you that gorgeous soft candy pink and the copper does that really cute strawberry peachy blonde and the cobalt if your hair is really bleached and it's white, you'll get like a nice denim blue. And if you have golden bleached hair, you'll end up with a nice minty green. Mm. And we're actually surprised so, at how many people jump in. They love it. So oh, oh, like I said, there's no limitations yeah. anymore. There's people are like, I can do this and just try it out because I think yeah. everybody wants to try it out. Is there a way to mix them to achieve other tones? Yeah, like I mean, that's a whole different kettle of fish, as we say in Australia. Um, yeah, there is. There's a system that we have for salons, uh, just called Made For Me. Um, I'll let you explain that. You love Made For Me, that's Dennis's baby. So what we created, we, we um, as Rob mentioned, we have five ready-made shampoos, color shampoos to cater for pretty much any hair color. But for someone who wants to be something really, to have something really customized or personalized we have in salon service which is called made for me mm. um and this is what we tr believe a truly unique bespoke service to a customer because the hairdresser can replicate the tonal qualities of the hair color which was used on the hair during the coloring process with the shampoo and available to take home so in this scenario with made for me you have over 20 million possibilities of creating the person and if shape. you love color and you're an awesome colorist and very experimental you can just do so much with it it's incredible what you can do mix so many different tones and blends yeah. it's crazy it's the it's pretty much the limitless um, possibilities because it's really based on, on how creative you are and the turn you want to achieve um, so yeah it's it's really really unique offering it is that's, yeah that's very creative then if it, to be able to kind of like create these custom colors for people to enhance um, yeah. and, what, they what have. I love about the made for me service being a professionalized custom blend the good thing is the guests can bring back the empty bottle and it can be refilled and the formula can be kept the same or changed and it reduces plastic waste which we love um, they can refill it up to six to eight times if they look, look after the bottle correctly mm -hmm. and that 
does help the environment, which is something that we really are passionate about. You guys are passionate about that. I appreciate that. It's, it's, yeah. it's good to know because here's the thing. We're not going to eliminate plastics in order to produce new products. And no. I mean, if you open your refrigerator, how many of them are plastic over glass nowadays? So we're not going to eliminate it, but we have to be conscious of it and aware of how we're... We made a conscious decision moving forward because I've been lucky enough to travel globally and see many different countries, nice and bad. And after growing up in West Australia on the beach and having such a pristine, clean beach, mm -hmm. then traveling overseas and seeing all this debris and plastic waste on the beach, it's heartbreaking. Yeah. It really has I, made me think, yeah. right, I'm going to do something. Yeah. Even if something we do for our brand is so small, it still has an impact. Yeah, so we, we are really, really um, proud to, um, to be one of not many brands who is um, using 100% post-recyclable, post-consumer recyclable plastic in our products. Um, and by, by mid-2019, we will be 100% uh, post-consumer recyclable and the reusable plastic. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that. You know, I, I know that those are big investments for companies, especially starting out companies to, to say, we're, we're, you know, we're not going to sacrifice uh, what we need to do here for the environment and to be able to support those type of clients that this is important to them. But we also want to make sure that our product performs and that there's opportunities for them to be able to reuse their bottles and then, of course, to encourage them to recycle at that point. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So is it the five products um, or is there more to your line or is there more coming? There's more coming. And every time I open my mouth, I get into trouble. <laughs> okay, so some of it's a secret. Yeah, right. right. We have some really, really cool things coming. I can't say too much, but it's going to be groundbreaking. It's going to be something totally new for uh, the hair care industry yeah. in a uh, cleansing format. Uh, and that's what I'm saying, because I'm going to get in trouble if I say anything. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay, so, so enough said. It's, it's, in, it's in the cleansing arena. Is it going to be a product that clients will be able to take home and use at home? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Definitely. It, it, it's not just one, it's a number of It's a number of things, yes. yes. So. Okay, perfect, good. And when do you guys intend to launch these items? Um, it will be around about early spring. Yeah. Next year, yeah. Next year, yeah. Okay, all right. So we got some new things coming out for 2019. Now, let's talk, I'm sorry, I'm going to be selfish with our time here, but let's talk about my hair and a formula that I can use to be able to achieve a little bit of a different look kind of going into fall here. Sure, so tell me, what would you, how, what, what are you thinking? Is this something you've seen or you'd like to experience, try? I, I am a creature of habit. I don't change very often, but what I'm finding is that I'm getting sensitive to color on my scalp. So I'm trying to go more into just highlighting and, and you know, those, the oh, foiling, yeah. balayage, whatever. I'm, you know, I'm achieving my lightness in there. And of course, I always, in my shower, is always stocked with a platinum type of shampoo in order to eliminate the golds because my hair goes gold really fast if I'm not using um, a lot of high lifts or kind of that balance of, of coloring in there. But I, I'd I think I'd like to kind of like get to that, um, what are they calling that kind of, it's, it's not quite strawberry or peach, but it's, something warmer i would say you really really have to try the copper yeah okay um and be daring because it gives such a beautiful cool copper tone on the blonde um don't think that it's going to turn your tangerine no it will be really really soft apricot type of copper yeah. um yeah, you can. Is, is there, um, you know, that rose gold formula that you guys would recommend with your products? I mean, you could mix the ruby and the copper together if you wanted. That would give you that real rosy, peachy, pinky tone. But, you know, if you're a little unsure about giving up the blonde totally and jumping straight in, you could segment your hair. Yeah. You could take the top section, put it up. And maybe just do the bottom section and then... Oh, good idea. Right. That, that's like dipping your toes yeah. in. Yeah. <laughs> and it gives you some, a real textural change, gives you some 
framing of the cup and the shape and gives you a good insight into how it will look globally if you use it all over. So great way to experiment. You could maybe section the top off, shampoo it in through the bottom really well. Maybe one shampoo, yeah. have I a think, look. I think in the, in the situation when you are globally blonde, like you are, you need to start gradually and then build up. So I think maybe a section underneath with one shampoo will give you a nice indication of what to expect. Of the depth and the transparency yeah. and, and the tone against my skin. Cause you're right. This, this was what we talked about in the first segment, that transformation that, you know, if I go from, you know, a very cool blonde, which is where I try to keep it. And it's kind of in between right now to something warmer. You got to change up your makeup a little bit. You got to change things up. Right. That's right. Yeah, just, um, I actually, I have done somebody's hair. Um, last week and she has been bleach blonde for many years um, and she felt like it's kind of boring now and she wanted to try something else and I've just said to her well listen before we commit to a full color of different color why don't we just try the infused and it will give you an indication and we just did one shampoo with copper and it just gave that Took the edge of the yeah. soft glaze. Yeah, and it was okay. really, really like nice. Yeah. Like a rose gold glaze, and yeah. it was beautiful. I like that. I like the idea of that, and I like the idea of kind of just like separating it up a little bit. So I've got some more depth in here, um, but not necessarily all over just yet. But now, what can I expect for it to last in my hair? doing really, one shampoo yeah it really depends on the porosity of your hair and how you're seeing color fade because i can't touch and feel your hair we probably say five to ten yeah. washes yeah. for lightened hair like yours okay Maybe that's a lot more. though i would yeah. i would think after one shampoo if you just do one just shampoo, one shampoo it would be around about five, five washes shampoos, yeah. yes that's quite that's quite a long time so even if i so you're saying that if i shampoo it again you know, every day or every other day, that it's still going to last five shampoos. Five shampoos. Well, it will fade gradually. Right. So it's not going to be like, oh, shampoo, one, two, three, four, and still, it's out. and then five is gone. So it will be a gradual. But as it fade. fades, it's quite nice to go through that pastel peachy, and then it'll be a little bit more powdery. And then in, for the fourth wash, you're kind of looking like a really cool blonde toner. With a bit of warmth. Like it's a tiny so, filter. Yeah, yeah, you can get some really nice mileage out of it from every consecutive shampoo because it's going to come off differently and give you a different filtration of color. All right, perfect. Well, that is that is my plan. We're going to take another break here. And when we come back, guys, I want to be able to talk about how people can find your product. I know that you're a new company. You're a, you're a, you're a very new baby brand here, but you've got some good penetration in certain countries and you're working on other countries. So I want to be able to make sure all of my listeners know where they can find it or where they can expect to find it coming down the road. Okay. And hey, listen, 2019 is around the corner. We all know that holidays are creeping up on us. Um, and we have more packages for sponsorships and advertising opportunities on Beauty Inside and Out. And right here behind me on my beautiful green screen, that could be your logo. And if it's your logo, it's also going to be your product that I'm going to do endorsements and testimonials on. Um, and maybe a little before and afters, depending on what the product is. So be sure to check out on uh, bonniebonadeo.com, go to slash radio dash host, and you'll be able to see all of the opportunities for 2019. I think that one of you are, is going to be able to grow your brand based on advertising because I, what I can tell you is audio influencers are bigger than life right now with podcasters and everything. So this seems to be the way that people are making decisions and influencing buying habits. So I hope that you'll join me on Beauty Inside and Out for my 2019 campaign of advertising and sponsorships. Now, back to our break. And then when we come back, these gentlemen, Dennis and, uh, and Rob are gonna be able to share with us where we can get this product um, and where it's coming. And then of course, I'm very excited about what you guys have coming out for 2019 too. So stay with us, everybody. Hi everybody, welcome back to Beauty Inside and Out. If you're joining me on Facebook Live, you are watching these fabulous gentlemen 
uh, Rob and Dennis from My Hair Care. And what we've been talking about in the first two segments is this Infuse Color. So it is actually a color that you can take home as a client and be able to maintain the beautiful color that you're getting in your salon from your stylist and or maybe experiment a little bit with some new colors. And they shared with us the five different colors, which I'll have them repeat here in just a second. But they also shared in segment two, a little bit about made for me. And that's where you can create, and this was mind boggling here, about 20 million different variations of a customized color just for the client. And that would be more for the professionals to be able to do on the consumers. Um, I know as consumers, we probably have all seen colored shampoos out there. But I think the most popular one that we might all have an awareness of is the blue shampoo to be able to keep blondes blonde or keep yellow out of gray haired people. Um, and I know that there is opportunities to experiment with color. And so your platinum, ruby, copper and cobalt and gold are going to give all of those variations for people to be able to maybe try on something different without the big commitment and that's that's the kind of person i am i you know i don't want a big commitment i want to try something on and get a feel for it now obviously back in my younger days i had um you know much darker hair never never probably passed a medium brown and darker but i was very very red auburn and very strawberry at uh, in a couple occasions um, and every time I looked in the mirror, I always said, who is that person? Because I think I have more of that blonde personality. So for me, I like to be lighter but, and brighter, um, but I also like a little variation coming into the fall. So they suggested that I try the copper on a portion of my head, which I'm gonna do. And we're, uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna show some before and after pictures, you guys, so that you can kind of see what my hair care uh, has done to my hair in creating a subtle, manageable, and not overly committed difference. So that's that's my game. Guys, I love that idea. Can you give us a couple other formulas that you might think people might be interested in before we talk about where to get sure. this product? Formulas as in mixation, is that what we're saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you know, if people don't want just copper, maybe there's the, a couple other varying yeah. ones to be able to achieve different looks. I would say with summer coming up for, say, Australia and stuff, uh, platinum mixed with gold is a great combination. If you're a blonde, it, it sort of sits in the middle of that warm cool, and it gives you just like a really natural, sort of well-toned blonde without it being too cool or warm. So, yeah. It kind of goes down that, that baby blonde, doesn't it? Yeah. That, that baby blonde. Champagne that... sort of blonde, like a champagne tone, I would say. Champagne, yes. Yeah. I love the combination of platinum and copper. It makes such a beautiful stone-like blonde results, kind of between like mushroom, stone, really like mauve, color beautiful. Okay, interesting, yeah. And then if you're feeling a little daring, the platinum and the ruby together on a blonde would give almost a lavender like pink sort of tone. Yes. Dennis has been having a go this morning. Yeah, you, oh, let's see. see. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Hair, he mixes it and pops it on. Is that sort of yeah. like a steely, warm tone? So, yeah. And I have what colors on yours? So, for those of our listeners, I'm going to describe it here. I have a mixture of ruby, a little bit of ruby and the platinum. Um, and it's kind of like slightly violet. Um, kind of between pink and violet, but yeah. really, really do you have pre lightened do you have pre lightened ends on your hair? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so he has pre lightened ends. This is really great for guys, though. I love this even for guys. This is my, for them to experiment with color. I color my hair, and it tends to obviously be a darker shade. And with men's hair, you get the, the washing out it fades off. So I tend to use the cobalt as a maintenance shampoo. That will stop my hair from being too warm or gingery, it puts the ash back into the hair. Mm -hmm. It keeps the hair quite toned. Yeah. Good for dark ash blonde yeah, and ash work. blonde. Yeah, perfect. So at what level, because cobalt would be the very, very blue blue. So on somebody that has maybe like dark blonde to light brown, what would it do for them? I w we, we generally do not recommend it to use for anyone um, 
lighter than light, light brown because um, uh, it, it, it is designed to maintain the ash and cool pigments in the brunettes. However, if you do feel like you want to experiment and do you have that blue green type of tones, you can use it on the levels above. But um, um, we do not really recommend for um, commercial hair coloring. Um, yeah, that it. makes sense. It's really for darker hair and maintenance of yeah. keeping the, the warm mm -hmm. tones, because we all know that clients always see red in their hair. And if they don't like it, then this is a good alternative for them to maintain that cool toned hair. Yes, definitely. It's really popular with, the, with those ash browns, which fades into quite orangey colors. Yeah, yeah. correct. So if somebody had, you know, one of, one of the, uh, here's, a, here's a description I can do, like J-Lo hair. She has that medium brown hair and then she has those caramel tones to it. And I see sometimes on these hairdressing forums that uh, hairstylists are always like, this is what my client wants. How do I get those caramel tones? But I'd imagine that anytime you're highlighting and you're looking to add a little deposit color with what you guys are offering here, that there's a way to create that caramel look. Definitely. That beautiful tiger eye kind of result mm -hmm. um, with the color, it's amazing for the cobalt and copper together. Um, so basically what would happen, it will be neither cool or warm. It will be that beautiful in between stage, which will just glossify and create that tiger-like um, um, result, definitely. Yeah, it's just caramel sort of tone, yeah. really nice caramel. Beautiful, caramel. Warm, cool, mixed together, yeah. gives a good neutral. Yeah, yeah. So great for, great for our clients that um, are trying to maintain their reds and their depth, okay? It's also good for clients that are highlighting their hair and they're looking to extend that freshness of a highlight. Um, and then, of course, good for blondes to be able to keep the cool tones in it, and also good for blondes to be able to experiment a little bit with some definitely, warmer yeah. tones. Playful, yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah, I am definitely. Now, I know that you guys have started out, you've launched it in the UK, you're in Australia and some countries in Asia. Um, where, you know, ha tell us what's next. I mean, USA, I'm sure, is on the map, right? It sure is. Yes, we've signed distribution with a large, uh, well-known premium distributor in the USA, and they're currently uh, doing the groundwork for prestige retail and professional hair salons. So that's coming up in the next yeah. couple of months. Yes, Quite so, exciting. Yes. so our distribution globally is growing really rapidly. Um, we're available in Sephora in Southeast Asia, um, in uh, in prestige retailers in the UK. Um, we do trade from our website, but our core um, focus is the salon professional. Um, so it um, infused my color. I'm going to come in the salon near you very soon. Ah, uh, perfect. We also have um, some amazing TV uh, shopping opportunities that we've just signed up in various countries and they're about to start. So that's quite an exciting venture we're about to. Yeah, I mean, because nowadays, you know, there, there is that professional line that we're all going down and that opportunity. Um, but consumers, when they want it, they want it. And I know maybe right now, the North American market, it might be a little expensive to have it shipped um, overseas to be able to get it. But you guys foresee going down the professional beauty track of Amazons and Sephora's here? Yeah. Yeah, Definitely. perfect. And that will certainly that will certainly create um, an amazing opportunity for your line to grow and expand and everything. So, you talked about a little bit about 2019. You have the five products now. You're coming out with some new ones. Tell us a little bit more about how you're trying to make those connections. You know, how can I help you? And what do other consumers need to know to be able to help make that connection for your line? Um, to be really honest with you, we have been growing organically as a brand. And I think um, the word of mouth, the traditional route is still really powerful. And we have a really nice following online of, uh, of really dedicated consumers and the customers who love the product and 
Um, so I, I think we are with our marketing plans. Mm -hmm. We actually are going back uh, to the root of being really personal with the people. Um, and this is how we grow in our business because we are in the business for, for a long time. So we are not in the fast fashion. So we do want um, to be as personable to our consumers as we can. And reach out as much as we can, kind of like the guest hairdresser relationship. Yeah. We really want to replicate that with the people out there and be accessible and um, want to hear what people think of it and what they think, you know, what products they would think they'd like to see in the future. I think it's very important to engage with your audience. It's the best way to develop and grow together. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, absolutely. I mean, I met, you know, I met you guys in, in Las Vegas and you were looking for distribution in different parts of North America and the world, I'm sure being at that show. Um, and you, it was, it was amazing. You guys were very personable, very friendly, and you really, you really, Im, you know, impressed upon me that you had something unique and a little different. This isn't just a color shampoo that is designed to kind of like create tonal value. This is really something that is going to enhance um, and give you a little play, a little playground um, to work with as well. Yeah. yeah. Tell us, um, tell everybody your website so we can at least start checking it out and get excited, especially for us in the USA that we don't quite have it here yet. www.my-haircare.com. Haircare.com. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Perfect. And then what, what other, uh, do you guys have some social accounts? Yes. yes. It's um, at my hair care official Instagram. Perfect. Good. All right. So I'm going to pull this up right here. Yeah. And so if there is people that are, some of my listeners are listening and they're in d different parts of Europe and Australia and Asia, they can go to the same website to be able to purchase products or do they oh, need to get them directly sure from the site? Talk to us on Instagram, talk to us on the Facebook page, and we'll put you in touch with someone in your area that can help you with the product. That's the best way to go, I think, for Perfect. now. Perfect. So connect on social media, Facebook and Instagram, yeah. at My Hair Care. Yes, that, yes, yeah. please. And if you have any questions, just shout that out and we'll, we'll engage in the conversation with you and can advise you on the best shade you like if you're not sure. Definitely. Oh, that's perfect. So even for stylists, I'm going to recommend that they do this same yeah. thing if they're interested in getting more creative with their clientele and their coloring opportunities. Sure. Yes. Yeah, we'd love to chat to them about that. Provide the stylist with the professional technical manual that they can read and we can coach them through it so they understand full usage and uh, on how to use the product correctly. Yeah. Do you guys, um, so it's, so are these items like in back bar sizes as well for the professionals? Yes. 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 Yeah. Perfect. No. So infuse um, my color, my dot hair care. Yeah. Um, so my dash haircare.com is the website, but find them. Um, and what were the social handles again? Give me that one more time. My hair care official. My hair care official. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. All right. So guys, I am, I'm going to, I'm going to try it out. And this is what you provided me while right. we were in Las Vegas. So I'm going to do this. Please on the bottom and get that kind of that warmness going on here. Um, and then I'll show some before and after pictures um, of what that's done and I'll kind of poke around at it. And so all this information you guys, you'll be able to find on my Facebook page. So it will be my Facebook group, Beauty Inside and Out, and it is a group page. And um, yeah, you need to be a member of that and jump on board, be a member of it stay you know stay engaged with all of my guests over time so just so you guys know rob and dennis you guys have access to being able to be and post on that page um okay, for cool. being on my show so please continue to engage let's keep this conversation going let's get a little playful and have some fun with color without the over commitment um that right. i think a lot of times people are afraid to do and we'll keep this conversation going right yeah. thank well, you so much it's been awesome chatting to you thank yeah. you very much Perfect. Thanks. Yeah, good. All right. So this was my hair care, uh, Rob and Dennis. It's, it sounds like it's going to be an amazing growing brand. So I want you guys to follow them. 
I want you to try it out. Um, I want you to experiment. I want you to post your results on Beauty Inside and Out uh, Facebook group page as well. Now, next week, oh my gosh, we're already getting into, um, we're here in November. The holidays are around the corner um, for us here in uh, North America and for the rest of the world with uh, the holiday season. And we're going to be talking a little bit more about ways to, that we can improve our looks going into the new year. I know at the end of the year, we kind of do the whole big measurement thing, like what would I change this year? What did I accomplish this year? What, where did I not take risks and where did I take risks? You know, um, And I think it's a good evaluation. So our guests for November are going to be talking a lot about trying on new things, experimenting mm -hmm. with things, but also being educated about um, how we can take those risks and go into the 2019 year with some amazing new opportunities. Uh, and of course, always I'm talking about beauty from the inside out. So whether it's an external thing that you're gonna do like me, external, I'm gonna put this on my hair, or an internal thing like our shows all October where we talked about liver cleanses and CBD oils and all of those interesting wellness uh, modules. Um, Beauty Inside and Out is the show to be able to have you be more educated, informed, and of course, inspired about all things beauty. And as always, remember, it's about being you in beauty. Until next time, thank you for joining me.